In this episode, we are making succulent gardens that we will deliver down to Wild Florida to install in a Gila Monster enclosure. After we reintroduce the Gila Monster, we will take a closer look at dwarf caimans, American alligators being born, as well as adult alligators. But first, we must find the perfect pot for our succulent garden. I'm out here at Home Depot looking for a pot for a Gila Monster. What do you buy a Gila Monster? So we're gonna want everything to look great, so I'm gonna cover it in universal rock. Hey, maybe this will work. A nice coconut fiber. And then look, I can get the in extra inserts. They're half off, $7. Let me try one of those. You know what, everybody? I should have came over to Lowe's first because look what I also found here on clearance. What is that? A 36 inch planter box. I'm gonna bring this to the zoo tomorrow. What zoo? It doesn't matter what zoo. I'm gonna bring it to the zoo and I need it to look beautiful with the piece of universal rock. Mm -hmm. Can you cut, just cut me a piece of rock like this? The panel. Cut me a piece of panel like this. Use a cable tie, maybe a cable tie here, a cable tie here, or a fishing string better. But just put something to cover the front. Can you do that for me? I need one piece here. I need one piece here. Oh, uh, you need two pieces. One for this, one for this. One, yes, yes. You need this jar now? Yes, yeah, two o'clock if you can. I put the tie, the black tie in the bottom. I don't know if it may be looking good or not, but I'll try. Tomorrow, I'm going down to Wild Florida again. We're going to do a Gila Monster exhibit. I'm going to pick some overgrown, beautiful succulents out of this greenhouse, and I'm really going to surprise them tomorrow morning. They'll love this. This is, this is an aloe, some sort of ornamental aloe. I am not sure. I don't think it's Christmas Carol, but it's an ornamental aloe, and it's in flower there. Now, these Echeveria are monocarpic meaning that they flower and they die. And they take a long time to die. They don't die overnight. They take like a whole year to die. So this would be a great addition to their enclosure. This is Echeveria rosea. I mean, look at all these flowers. So I'm gonna get some real nice stuff for them. I don't know how much sunlight it gets, but I do want it to look spectacular tomorrow. I'm not gonna get any euphorbia plants because they have a milky latex sap and I know it's poisonous to people. I don't know about lizard. I know the lizard eats meat, it doesn't eat plants, but you can see here, these are filled with a milky sap. All of the euphorbias are filled with milky sap. I got several varieties here, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna avoid all them. So this plant here is Portulacaria, and we grow, actually we grow four varieties of this. This right here is a low growing one, where this one right here is an upright one. This is Alpha, this is Alpha Minima. This right here is Variegata. And we got two different types of variegated. We got this type, and we got this type right here. I'm also looking for stuff that's remarkably hardy. This is Senecio Mountain Glory, because it has these orange flowers in the springtime, and I guess it makes the mountain look glorious. This is Hawarthia Pentagona. In my opinion, the indestructible plant. There's nothing you can do to kill this. Here's a little different Echeveria, something that's a little purplish brown. Again, things look good in threes, so I'm trying to grab threes of everything. 
Well, hi everybody. We're getting ready to go to Wild Florida. We're gonna be leaving in just a few minutes. First, we're gonna set up these displays here for the Gila Monster. I got my friend Haley here from Blue Moon Nursery. She's gonna help me set these up while I'm gonna load the truck with some other stuff. So the first thing I'm doing here is putting a soil layer down and planting our succulents on top. It's a very rich soil. This is the nicest soil I've ever seen. Look at that, it's nothing all humic. So for little planters like this, we wanna do, uh, what's a flower grower and a shower. So we want talls, we want pretties, and then we want something that spills over and helps uh, cover up these harsh lines. So what we have to work with here is we've got some nice tall porch lucaria or the elephant bush. These are nice, uh, we call them like fake bonsais because they have a lot of character there in those stems. And that's going to be our height. Area, metal, and a splash, a little excitement there. Oh wow, what is in there? Holy! <laughs> okay. Whoa! I wish Peter was here to see this right now. Isn't that cool? Wow! Oh my god, look at this furry one. The Gila's going to love this. Wow! I think even if he crawls on these, it will be fine, except for a few. Oh, this is just a flower. Maybe not the flower, but I don't think he will mess a lot of this up, honestly, if he wants to climb on it. It's in the front of it here. Wow. That's gonna be amazing. That is so cool. Hey, we'll go in there and figure it out once we go in. I think this is gonna look amazing. Nice. This is the dwarf came in the smallest crocodilian in the entire world. That's the one that Kenan has. Yes. 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 One of. I'm not sure which because there's two that look very similar. The the Schneiders and the Cuviers. This is Cuviers. I'm not sure what Canon has. So smallest species of caiman in the entire world. This one's already what two and a half. Years yeah. Old. Yeah. Wow. And they live mostly on small creeks leading to larger rivers, and they share their habitats with many other animals, other crocodilians. One of my favorite for sure. Yeah. Just the shape of the head on a caiman is. It's so different, so interesting. Like, this is a species that 
really does utilize vegetation on land. Yes. Um, they do spend a lot of time on land if you give them the proper, like, plants and cover and stuff to hide. In the built um, caves. They will hang out on land a lot, which is really cool. Yeah, in the wild, they're... Unlike building caves okay. under the roots of trees. This here... Our American alligators hatching today. <laughs> Literally, as soon as I opened it, he hatched out of the egg. So the last two days, these guys have been hatching. You guys to see, they do have like an umbilical cord there. Full of yolk. Can you show me again? Yep. You're right there. Where the blood is at. And just like that, you saw an alligator hatch. Now over here, they are still in there, but you can see his snout is breaking through the egg already in there. There he is. You see that white thing? That is the, the uh, egg tooth. It falls off after they break the egg and after they hatch. You can hear them. Uh, so whenever they hatch, a lot of times, uh, we leave the first alligator in there so he can call the other ones out. So that calling, of course, calls mom to come and help, but also uh, initiates all the other ones hatching at the same time. So little baby alligator. That's amazing. I incubated them for months. And now it's time for them to hatch and I still have a whole incubator full of them. Um, we had some more or less crocodiles. We get about 50 uh, alligators. We can choose like 100 plus nothing if we don't need any. Um, we have dwarf caiman eggs, uh, which is this bin right here. And then the newest one is up here. It's the rhino iguana eggs. So these are incubator for pretty much all our reptiles. And that's it for the year, I believe. Uh, we have rhino iguanas and the caimans last. And those don't hatch until November. So we still have to hatch a long, a way a long, long time for them to hatch. Oh, well, thank you for sharing that with no me. No problem. What do you think, Tom? They're real, you know, uh, I was expecting them to be like a little rhino iguana. They don't. Or little water monitor. Yeah, oh, yeah. no, he's a little feisty. He's, he's a, a tiny bit, but he's yeah. just scared, but not as Oops. fast. Yeah, okay. Okay. <laughs> not as fast. They're also wet right now, of course, but they're not very fast animals. Because mm -hmm. a, a, a rhino would go on. It would take off. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it would take off so, so fast. And how old is this one? Uh, hours like this was yesterday. Yeah, I had this one yesterday. So here we don't do alligator wrestling or none of that crazy stuff. We do alligator training. So you know their names. Up, 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 up. Oh, oh, oh. And once you hold in place, I can touch his face. Hold. Around the nostrils. Eyes, ears, and the funnest part, his teeth. I can actually touch his teeth. He holds in place. Nostrils again, eyes, ears, get him used to it. And all he waits is for a reward. If I can step to the side, he still holds in place there. Hold. And then he gets rewarded with some food. So that's what we focus the training here with all of our animals for the most part. Almost all of the shows is pretty much us training animals like crusher here, the American alligator. Good job, buddy. Good job. You see, Caesar, there's nothing to be afraid of. We can do this. We can do this, Caesar. You don't even have to get this close, Caesar. You can stay back like 10 feet. Good job, buddy. Good job. You don't even have to get this close, Caesar. Oh. You can stay back like 10 feet. 10 feet? <laughs> I'm not doing maybe, maybe 20, 30 feet. <laughs> okay, back to the Gila monster enclosure. Yeah, I'm gonna smash my Ow! You got that! <laughs> He's recording, he got me getting smacked by the top of the enclosure. Bro.
That's it. That's it. Yep, that's it right there. That's literally it right there. It blends with the background perfect. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Sore? That is exactly what we should. So we'll have to pile up the sand in the front. And then we'll start putting in the rocks. So do you, yeah, that's that. I feel like that's. Do you like it better in the back? I yeah. think both yeah. of them like that. It is important to build caves so the Gila monster will have places to hide. The Gila monster also needs a flat spot to bask under the heat lamp. We will see you next week and don't forget to like and subscribe.